Well, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. Today what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over some inexpensive alternatives to those expensive boutique degreasers for your bike cleaners or to clean your chain. Whether you use an actual bike chain cleaner like these that I have here or you just kind of spray down your chain <laughs> or soak it. Hopefully this will give you some insight as to some alternatives that are not going to break the bank. So I personally usually just use a commercial chain cleaner. This is the part tool and this is the finish line. They're both very good. For some reason, I tend to use the part tool more often. I think it gives me a little better clean, even though this one's a little less messy because of the shape. Now in the comments, I'm sure some people will say, just take the chain off and soak it in kerosene or something like that. But maybe you can do that a couple of times with your chain but that quick link you're not supposed to really reuse them i don't think i keep doing that just taking the same quick link on and off and not replacing it so replacing the quick link takes you know gets expensive after a little while and i end up cleaning the chain on my bike about every couple of weeks so if you buy some of the commercial bike chain degreasers designed for these uh, it can get expensive for example the part tool cleaning fluid costs about $15 for a 16 ounce bottle. The finish line citrus cleaner costs about $9 for a 12 ounce bottle. The gallon sells for about $55. So there's other alternatives out there. One of the products that always comes up is uh, Simple Green over here. Now, if you notice, this is a purple Simple Green, the Pro HD, and it is safe for metal surfaces. They, they specify that. The regular simple green, the green one, it is not recommended that you use it on metal. And if you go on the internet and look up in the forums, there's people saying that they soak it in simple green and then it their chain broke or whatever. So take it for what it's worth. But this one is safe for metal. So this you can clean your chain with. So yeah, you can use simple green. Just make sure you get the Pro HD. They also make a simple green bike comes in a spray bottle and it's about ten dollars for a 20 ounce bottle probably the same thing <laughs> you know how some companies sometimes repackage something and sell it as a specialty item and they increase the price and it might it might be the same thing maybe it's not I also have some purple power that I bought at Walmart and I can't remember how much this gallon was I've had it for a while but I think it's about eight dollars a gallon and then I bought this Zep heavy duty citrus degreaser. I bought this at Home Depot for about $11, $11.50. The Simple Green Pro HD, which actually comes with the spray bottle, which is kind of cool, uh, was about $16. I think I bought this at Lowe's. So the cool thing about all these is they are all concentrates. So you can dilute them and then you can put them in spray bottles and then you can use it for general cleaning or in between cleaning, spray down that chain, rub, you know, uh, scrub it down a little bit, then relube it. So that's a little convenient there. You get kind of a two for one because you get so much product for that price. So one of the main things that I've learned is that prevention is key. So I end up using dry lube because it does not muck up my chain as much. So the other thing is don't over lube your chain. If you're adding chain oil after every ride, it accumulates. And after time, then you're going to get crud, right? And make sure in between rides, you wipe down the chain and, and that kind of thing. One product I did not like was this one. So the white lightning ride clean, it's supposed to, you're supposed to use it as a dry lube. And then it also cleans your chain as you ride. And it cleans your chain as you ride. What it does is it kind of clumps up the grease or the grit and it, kind of, it, it falls off your bike. But what I found is you have to have like a brand new chain for that to work. Because the first time I used this, my chain was rather clean. And I put this on, went for a ride halfway through the ride. My chain was dry. My shifting was bad did not like this product at all, at least not for mountain biking. Maybe for road is fine for a road bike. I would not recommend this for a mountain bike. So out of all these, the one I've liked the most is the Zep. It's actually cheaper than the Simple Green. It does not 
cut grease as well as the simple green and it does not sud up make as many suds as the simple green but that's one of the pluses i like it's easier to rinse so i rinse this has a nice orangey smell all of these are biodegradable by the way including the the purple power uh, i found the simple green that if my chain is really bad it's really cruddy this works better so i'll actually use these full strength in the cleaner and then as you clean it up it also gets on your sprocket it gets on your jockey wheels on your derailleur and then it's just a matter of wiping off that grime it'll really dissolve that grime so i usually just uh, turn it and just wipe off the grime off my sprockets the purple power actually works really well but i don't know even though it says it's biodegradable down here Boop. but I don't know it's just I use it more for my car and my lawnmower and that kind of thing so I do use this around the garage quite a bit and it's a it's it works really well but it also leaves a lot of residue if I had to buy one I would buy this one also great for general cleaning just not as strong as these two being a citrus cleaner but it's eco friendly it has a nice smell you're not gonna faint around it and you get a gallon for about 12 bucks. So let me know what you think, what your experiences are. If you do use cleaners, if you just soak it like a lot of people do, if you just scrub it on your bike. But my drivetrains have lasted quite a bit by doing this. Drivetrains are expensive, so maintenance is really key so you don't have to be changing them all the time so that your shifting is crisp and your whole drivetrain turns smoothly. So give it a thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe. Leave some comments. Thanks for watching.